Hi friends, happy Saturday. This will be my 28th episode of Saturday Morning Makes, which I'm always tickled to be a part of. I just look forward to it and enjoy it so much. Okay, and um, if you'd like to join along, just hashtag SatMornMakes on whatever it is you make and video or take pictures of, and then load that up to um, a social media platform such as here on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. And that's all there is to it. What It can be anything that you make. And this was all started by Jill Norwood. Hi, Jill. So happy you started this adventure because it's so much fun. Okay, so I've made two cards this morning. And I am going to show you first what I used to make the first card. And then we'll move on to the second card. So I used this absolutely adorable stamp that has a vintage... Um, image here on it. This stamp is from Paper Impressions and that's that information there and it's called Supposing a Ghosty. And so there's the information on that. Now I've had this stamp for a while so I'm not sure if it's still available but you can go check it out. It's so cute. It says Supposing a Ghost Ran After You. <laughs> And he's holding his little black cat there. It's so cute. And can you see the face there in the tree? Okay, so I used that stamp. I used um, this one for the inside. This one's from Stampendous, and this was um, has the year 1989 on it. And this one is called Halloween Fright. There we go. Have a frightfully delightful Halloween. Okay, I also used this embossing folder from Fun Stamper's Journey called Spooky Bold. And it says boo all over it and has some little bats and stars and pumpkins. I used this ribbon um, that I got, I believe, at Michael's. And then I also used this twine right here. I unfortunately don't have the label. It's a thicker um, twine, and I don't remember where I got it. Dang it. So I'm thinking it's either came from Michael's, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby, or it could have come from Craft Warehouse. Those are the places I tend to shop. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> and I've had this for a year or two. Okay, I also used um, some Vintage Photo Distress ink. And I used my Black Memento ink. I um, used a nail sanding. Or wait a minute, no, this was on the second card, so ignore that. So I that was my little tool for inking. All right, I think that about does it. Let me show you my card. So here it is. I just kind of wanted to keep it a little bit simple and let the image be the focal point because it's just so darn cute. I did color it with um, alcohol, my uh, Stampin' Up! Blends alcohol markers. And I was happy with the way that turned out and then there's all those ribbons and inside I just inked around the edges there and you can see the embossing on that layer piece there so yeah I thought that kind of turned out cute all right now for the second card so I showed you I used that nail brush for sanding. I got really old school and used a pair of deco. These were probably my very first decorative scissors. The deckled edge. Do you guys still have these in your stash? I have a whole basket full. 
All right, I used um, some embossing powder. Now this was a boo-boo. Can you see the sparkles in there? So this started out as black embossing powder from, uh, I believe, close to my heart. And it got uh, some sparkly, um, <laughs> it got some gold embossing powder. And I think I just went ahead and made a bit of a mix there and put some other um, sparkles in there. So when I want something to have a little bit of sparkle and not just solid black, I will reach for this oopsie mix that I have. I use this super adorable die set from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. I think I ordered this last year, so this was the first time that I've gotten to play with it. And I I did order, I remember ordering this actually from walmart.com because I wanted her and I found it there for a really good price. So think about Walmart when you're looking for stuff like that. I mean, it's not the first place I would think of, but they actually have lots of craft things online. So that is where I got that. I used some of the black stars from this Stampin' Up! Um, stars embellishment, and these are still available. From Fun Stamper's Journey, I used this um, spiderweb die. This is a two-set die, so you can cut out the inside piece, which has a small frame around it. Um, well, actually, it's just whatever it goes to whatever you cut your rectangle to and then you can make a frame around it if you want. I just used the inside piece. I used um, this stamp, Cackle Cackle Cackle. It's um, from Judith, which is Stamps by Judith. And that's the only information. So it's C75 Cackle Cackle Cackle. And from um, Stamp Passions. There's the information. I used Screamy Screamy. Witchy Witchy Screamy Screamy. Happy Happy Halloweeny. This is one of my favorite Halloween <laughs> saying stamp. I just have fun with that. And I used um, a piece of paper from this pad that I believe I got last year from Michael's. It's a Recollections. Um, this is a fun paper pad, but the images are kind of bigger. It's heavy. It's got a lot of paper in it. Um, it's got gold foiling in it. Um, I like this kind of vintage feel. So for card making, some of the patterns are a little bit big, but I really like that one. Um, you know, you can make it work. Uh, I used this polka dot is what I used from here. I like the bats. And there's some really fun cut-aparts. Those would be good for doing, um, like, junk journals or something like that. It's got a fun polka dot here. And then in the front... I know it's sideways. Let me turn it. It's got two of these huge, I think there's just two. These would be really cute to make um, some signs in your house. It's the whole 12 by 12. Something wicked this way comes. And so I think you could do something really crafty fun with that, even if you just put it in a frame and did a shadow box. So I use that and then let me bring back this. Can you see um, the picture on here? You can see the texture in that paper and that there's a, a color underneath of it. And I thought, hey, I think I have some of the paper that they obviously did this with. So I looked in my stash and sure enough, I had more than one paper pad. Imagine that. Um, it's called Black Magic. And I think I have some that are other colors too that aren't, they're not black on top. So this is kind of cool. It says, reveal the hidden core color. 
So um, you can sand it, which is what I did, and which was what obviously was done on here. You can see it. You can tear it to um, see the color. You can antique it, which looks like they probably spritzed it with water and watered it up. It says, keep it. So um, I used paper from this. So on the top, it's all black. And it's not a surprise because you can see what color is on the other side. There's beautiful colors in this one. But when you sand it, this color that's on the underneath side shows up. So it's pretty fun. This paper is from, um, who's this from? Coordinations, Color Core Cardstock. So coordin Coordinations, let me see what it has on the back here. Um, it looks like they have a website, so www.coordinations.com. So there is that. So those were all the things I used to make my second card. And here it is. I did a slimline card. So it's nine inches long by um, four, four. I think it's four. Let me measure it. Yes. So four by nine, it will fit in a standard business sized envelope. So there's that polka dot paper I used back there and I went around the edges with black ink and sponged it. Um, I used this blue paper here is actually a piece of cardstock stampin' up. It's misty moonlight is the color. And then um, I chose uh, that core cardstock that had kind of an orange color on the back for the witch and gray for the cat and then obviously yellow for the stars so I did a whole lot of sanding on the stars because I wanted them to be mostly yellow and the little black ones are those um star seek uh these things that I used adhesive back sequins I oh I also used um, let me get it I because I put it away. I used um, Sparkle Silk from Fun Stamper's Journey. And then I also used, um, I used the, the silk on this card. I forgot. I used black licorice and orange. Um, it's one of the orange colors. And they all come in a jar like this or container like this that looks like fingernail polish. But it's got a whole lot of sparkle. Can you see that in there? I love this stuff. I don't know if they still sell it. Um, I was a demonstrator for them at what one point, so I had to have every color of this that they had at the time because I love this stuff. And you just... Um, use it to make your splatter it's really it's really fun stuff some of it's really frosty others is not so frosty and most of it dries really fast but when i tip this you can see all the the um, frosty goodness that i splattered on there and that was the sparkle silk one and um so yeah so i sanded the witch and the cat and then there is that fun after I got it put together I just I I thought it really needed something in these border areas and I I got out my washi tape and I looked at ribbon and none of that was just sparking to me and I thought ooh, I wonder if I have a cobweb dye and so sure enough, <laughs> I found that. And so I just used pieces of it to put at the top and bottom and that then made me happy. And then inside is that fun saying. And I just took some alcohol markers and colored up around the border and did some 
sponging around the edges with black. So that is my little witch card. And there I embossed the cackle, cackle, cackle with that sparkly embossing powder. So there is that one, and here is this one back, and those are my makes for this Saturday. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous weekend and getting to enjoy a little bit of crafting time yourselves. Okay, so um, have a great rest of the weekend. Go take a look at what everybody else has made. Um, I'll put a link to Jill's channel and down below in the description box so be sure to check out her channel too but all you have to do to see what everybody else that's participating made is search that hashtag uh satmorn makes and you will be able to see all the wonderful makes all right see you next time bye bye